Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival of This, and we are turning Monster Hunter World ICE. So I know I was talking about last weekend, or sorry, last week, about which monsters we would... Oh, what? Can... Oh, there we go. Okay. I was talking about which monsters I'd probably be going after, and I was thinking of starting us off with Nergigante, because we do have that opened up. However, going through, like, the whole monster list, there were a couple of monsters that we haven't seen at all, and I feel like it'd be weird to go after Nergigante and then double back for the two of them. Just because it feels like once we hit Nergigante, it'll probably be Elder Dragons right through to the end. So we're going to take a couple of episodes to hunt down these outliers first, and then we'll go after Nergigante. So Dodo Gama, we're going to try to capture one, to try to keep everybody appeased that we don't take down a Dodo. And the other monster, I have encountered Devil Joe, but because of the power level of Devil Joe, I think he'll still be an okay one to tackle after, like, maybe the main story and... The DLC, or I shouldn't really call them DLC, but like the update monsters. I'll probably go after Devil Joe and Lunastra in time afterwards. Just that way, like, when I have covered all of Monster Hunter World, we have seen every monster there. So, the only outliers are, so far, Dodogama and Lavasia. And as much as, like, each isn't really a super interesting fight, I still do want to show them off properly, say we, com we covered all of Monster Hunter World I guess it is technically ICE mod, even if it's just like the base world game we're playing. So we're going to start off and go after Dodogama, just see how long that takes. It might be a pretty short episode because of that. But with how some of the series I've been working on have been going, it might not be bad just to have a bit of a smaller episode for one or two. So let me just see about making the traps, because I'm trying to remember where they are. There we go. No, oh, I can make quite a few of those. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll get those. Uh, okay, switch over. Yeah, let's auto sort and. Oop. There we go. I'm kind of surprised that that's how that went. And let me just stop by the little field supply here. Or the. What is this called? Provision stockpile. That's it. Easy. Stop here, try to pick us up the trank bombs we'll need. I can't remember if it sells. Oh, actually. I haven't even picked up either of the power of the char- or, well, either of the two charms yet, so that's a good thing to get. God, yeah, this is probably, like, the first time I've ever actually stopped at the stockpile for the entire series we've been doing. Uh, I guess just for the sake of things, I'll stock us up on whatever coatings we can use. You know what, I'll- I'll take them all. Why not, right? I mean, even if we can't use them this hunter with this weapon, it still doesn't hurt to have a full supply of that. Oh, and I just realized there's actually not- Tranquilizer for sale here. Okay, so I have to do a little bit of crafting just to make sure I have the Trank Bombs for going after capture. Kind of goes to show you how little I've done for that in the series. Oh, I've got plenty for them. Perfect. That should be enough there. 24. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's all set. Now we'll just pick up the quest and head on out. This Dodo Hunt is probably going to be very easy to do. I mean, I did get us the full Azure Rathlos. One thing I really do hope that comes back for Monster Hunter, like, that world introduced was the investigation system where if you were after rare materials, you could get, like, the silver reward or the gold rewards from a investigation quest that had a higher chance at them. Having played Rise and Sunbreak, I miss how much better it was trying for, like, the rare materials you'd be after. Because it's either you go after the hunt multiple times, it only has, like, a 1 to 5% drop rate, depending on everything you do, or you just kind of do the investigations, get a good rewarding investigation quest, clear it out, and you have a higher chance. It makes it a little bit more accessible to farm the stuff up. I do think upgrading the weapons is kind of easier... In Again, it's like a little bit of a flip. If there's no rare materials to get, I think it's easier to upgrade the weapons in Rise and Sunbreak. But if you do need something like a gem, a mantle, a plate, etc., then that becomes much harder to do in Rise and Sunbreak than it was in World. The wind drakes in a frenzy. Ooh. Hmm? I smell something wild nearby. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that means we're going to have a bit of a special guest this hunt. I have seen Devil Joe once out in the hunts. There is actually the little thing. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Like, if I wanted to talk to jovial researchers, I could 
go and start having Devil Show probably showing up more in quests and have the actual targeted hunt for it. But I'm going to just kind of keep to the story that's been done so far. And what? It's kind of like a neat little thing for... Like, the Elder's Recess, they didn't have to include this little lead-up again to be explored, but you can. There's nothing really to find other than a few little, like, uh, resources or gatherables, but... I am surprised that they kept this as something you could go into. I thought it would have been... Like, say, you drop off a ledge, and this is completely inaccessible, but you can have this little run up and go through it. Yeah, let's just pop out here. And I think I still have to eat, don't I? Yeah, I don't think I stopped. Yeah, so we'll just do that. We'll just skip uh, her making it. There's that good. We'll just check the box for anything. Might as well snag the free ammo. Okay, let's head out and start tracking down Dodo. Yeah, Azure Rathalos, the set, it's going to be very helpful for the bow because of what it has on offer. With the crit element and the... I think it's my, Mind's Eye slash bali, Ballistics? It basically means that if we shoot at a monster where shots would normally like just bounce off, I think there's a much reduced chance of that happening. Okay. Uh, footprints from something. I don't know what. But again, I... If you like the action-oriented style of, like, the hunts themselves and the battles against the monsters, I think Rise and Sunbreak might deliver that a bit more satisfying, or it makes you... You definitely feel the style in that more. But for myself, actually being able to go out, finding the footprints of what you're after, tracking and exploring, and just feeling like you're in an ecosystem... World definitely nailed that so, so well. And it's been really nice coming back to it after, like, the super long series I had done with... Uh, Rise and Sunbreak. We're definitely going to get back to that whenever the la I think it's the last title update that'll come out for it, but when title update 5 is out, we're definitely going to go back to that for at least a week. I don't know if I'd really want to go back and go through all of the in uh, like anomaly investigation stuff. Because it's sort of like how the tempered monsters were done for World and Iceborne. There were tempered monsters in Iceborne, right? Ye ye I think so. Pretty sure there were. Oh, yeah, there definitely were now, I think, about it because of the Guiding Lands. But, yeah, it's not so much that anything super new or... I mean, it's not really like new equipment gets unlocked, but it lets you play around... Oh, hi, Dodo. Where were look we were just looking for ya. Yeah, the chunky guy's been having some bit of a snack. Dodo is actually one of the monsters where, if you're not careful, you could wind up in a bit of trouble because of the blast light that he has. Sorry, big guy. I want to try to put you down. Well, not put you down. Weaken you as quickly as we can. Do you think I can even get the tail off Dodogama, which... Yeah, but it's basically like a living mortar in a way. Oh, and yeah, there's where, again, if you aren't careful, you can't hit for a decent little chunk of damage. Now, let's tenderize that tail if we can. And just see about getting him to sleep. I do kind of wish that Dodo did get a light bow gun because it feels like if you were going to do like a sticky rapid fire light bow gun, Dodo would be a perfect monster for it. Ooh, just like with him throwing the fireballs and that. It feels so thematic if you were to get that. And I feel like there's a good chance that we may see Dodo Gama again in the series. Because, like, there's nothing super unique that isn't possible to be brought forward with him. It's not like, say, the issue with the Leviathan skeletons that kept them out of world. It's not where it's, um, 
like Ball Hazak, where you might kind of need the, uh, the effluvium or that from the Rotten Veil vale to explain him. He's just a decent monster that would probably be a good beginner one into anywhere with, like, well, the volcano biome. Oh, we're going to hurt you bad, bud, but... Uh, sorry. We're trying to make this quick, though. Just get you nice and tired. And then we'll put you to Betty Bye. Yeah, I feel like I'm bullet. Oh, I think I'm bullying the poor little guy. I also want to be careful because. Oh. I don't want to be too aggressive since I want to capture him. So I'll probably need. Oh! Oh, there's a Ergon. Didn't realize he was in the hunt, too. Okay, let's snag the material. Actually, there might be a lot of material from him. We'll get the tail, and there's still one bit of material somewhere around here. Ah, uh, do, do, do. Let me try to find it. That is one of the things that was both handy and a little difficult to figure out when it came to world. Is there are mods that would make any dropped items much more apparent and obvious. Oh, I thought you left. Ooh, well, definitely gave Runa a good blast. And myself, too. Ooh. Yeah, Runa, you're basically just getting cannonballed in the face. Okay, going by the icon in the bottom there, he's still got a fair bit of health left to him, so we can probably be a little bit more mean. Runa, I gotta admit, perfect timing on that. So much for the capture in the icon. That is one thing that's kind of tricky. You gotta get the full, like, uh, tracking up before I think you might be good to start seeing, like, the uh, really weak icon for them. I didn't mean to actually take him out like that. <laughs> Uh, we'll at least be able to, I guess, check his gear. But, yeah, I might have made a few people a little unhappy there. I didn't intend to, but it does go to show you gotta mind yourself if you are going to capture monsters. Oh, that's probably the last track that would have let me know. No, no, yeah, see, I wasn't actually at the full tracking bar. And it does get easier as the tracking level goes up per monster, too, so I think I'm probably, like, no tracking level on him right now. But yeah, I should have spent a little bit more time getting that bar full before really engaging Dodo. I know some people might find the tracking aspect of that a little annoying and not want to be present. I feel like it just kind of adds a little bit more flavor to the hunting side of Monster Hunter. Yeah, see, only got to level 1 with that first hunt against him, so... I don't know if I want to go after another one or not. Like, I'm actually trying to think of... What wep what weapons you could get from Dodogama. I can't really think of that many. Oh, well, we'll pet Poogie to try to make amends for that mistake we made. And maybe I'll just quickly go up, preview the gear. Not that I think it's really going to be good for that much. I think it was meant to lean a little bit into using Blast. But again, unless you have a... I can't remember if this actually has like an element unlock to it. Focus, windproof, focus... Oh, there is one level of it, so... I think right now at this stage... The only Blast Element bow might be Kulu Yaku's, but it's a hidden element, so you do need that skill to activate it. But yeah, let's just take a look and see what Dodo's armor sets look like. Actually, I gotta admit, he did have a pretty nice looking armor set for just being like the early monster... I guess more early bio monster he is. But it gave you... What was it? Blast resistance and blast attack. Mom, yeah, he was heavily built towards... Actually, probably a pretty good Gunlance set if you wanted it. I mean, I did play around a little bit with the Gunlance, not as much as I could have. 
But yeah, looking through everything it gives, would be a pretty decent gun lance set to be rocking. And that one just has a little bit of the color difference. Okay, now what about weapons? Because it should be pretty easy to find if there is any for Dodogama. Nothing there. I don't feel like he'd have a long sword, maybe a sword and shield, but I doubt it. Let me just go through. Great Gyros has one, Great Jagras. Yeah, nothing. Okay, maybe a hammer. Because of the big jaw, maybe that's what he's got. Ergon. No, no ham. Yeah, Dodo really didn't get much in the way of any weapons, did he? I mean, he is probably... There we go. Okay, so we got a hunting horn. Although, truthfully, I think it's one of the... It is a slapped on. That was another big thing about World that... Hopefully, the next big entry stays a bit more away from, or they do a bit more proper, is... The slap-on things that the weapons went through. It's like, some weapons got pretty nice, unique looks to them, and others are just... A little bit of stuff attached to try to say it's a unique weapon. I think, again, it could be done okay if the last upgrades are somewhere along the tree, it switches over to a unique model. So it kind of feels like the weapon builds up in power and gets more and more monster parts to fully utilize it, rather than it just gets a little bit of hide wrapped around a handle or something. But yeah, for Dodo not to have gotten that many weapons, I'm... Oh, oh surprisingly enough, he actually got a lance. Okay, then I feel like he also had to have gotten a gun lance, but I also don't know if I can say for sure. Okay, that is weird. He gets a gun lance armor set, but he gets just a regular lance weapon. That's a weird combination. Okay, but yeah, we'll end this episode here. Again, it's going to be a bit quicker, leaner of an episode, but... I figure, let's just get all these little outliers out of the way, and then we can focus hard on the Elder Dragons, and go into the last stretch of World Story in that. So thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Monster Hunter World ICE. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Next episode will be Lavasiath, and then we're going to end the week with a bang going after Nergagante. So thank you all very much for joining me, and until I do see you in the next video, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, Stay alive and happy hunting.